Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, thank you. Super cold Valentine's Day. Nobody's going out, but at least there's a lot of nice light coming from the windows. Very sunny, but extremely cold. Minus 23, feels like minus 27. The baby just found a little stash of uh, board games that we have. She's playing with that. Hey, baby, Damo. Happy Valentine's Day. Not much in the plants today, other than I forgot a few ingredients to get at the store. So I'm going to have to go get that because it's closed tomorrow Monday for the holiday because it's family day tomorrow on Monday. Yeah. Happy Valentine's Day. What have you found, my belle? Oh, you, you're opening it. Baby Damo, what's Zelda? What have you found? They're a jeu de ninja turtles. Good morning. Time to go. On the fact that you're gonna be one. Ah, oh, baby, qu'est-ce que t'en penses? Tu vas avoir un an. Un an. Tu veux une grande fille? Good girl. Mm. Est-ce que t'as ton papa à ranger les comic books? Ah, oh, baby. <laughs> sort of. Aww. I'm having to rest on a couch because I have no juice. I'm 100% out of energy. It's like my muscles won't move anymore. There's no juice going to them. I'm very tired. I don't know what's wrong with me. I had a very long nap yesterday night. I'm too exhausted to keep talking. <laughs> I still have to edit yesterday's vlog. So, I recorded this long ramble that had a lot of good little bits to it. It was eight minutes long. When I went to look at it, I realized that I basically have eight minutes of me talking and we can only see the wall. Ah, okay. I mean in English. I see. I understand. <laughs> well, I want her to know it in français first. <laughs> you want to play with my wallet? Oh boy. You have to teach the baby how to say papa. That is not how to say papa. Oh, baby? Papa, 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 papa. Papa, 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 papa. So I'm a total hypochondriac. I'm 
today was made worse because of that. I had an ectopic pregnancy back in 2013. Starting on August 1st, 2013 is when I went to the hospital about it. And, um, I got treated for it and it's all fine. I had a baby after, so it's all good. But, um, it's basically made me a hypochondriac. Um, when I was at the hospital being looked after and evaluated and getting my diagnostics and stuff like that, I, uh, I was told, you know, to look for certain sim symptoms while, you know, doing the wait and see kind of thing because they don't treat right away in case it's not that. So they send you home and they say, you know, look for these symptoms and of course you go home and every little twinge in your body you're thinking, is it that? You know? And I've honestly been scared of it happening again since um, I thought having a baby and bringing a baby to full term pregnancy and all that, I thought that it would ease it, but really it hasn't. I mean, it has, to a certain extent, but the uh, overwhelming panic that I get when I think I'm sick and I realize, oh my goodness, what do I do if this or that happens to me? Just the panic of being sick is just still very present. I think until I had the ectopic pregnancy, I felt I had always felt like I was invincible, you know? It's just this naive sort of nothing bad can happen to me. And now it's like I've I've lost that confidence that I had that everything will be okay all the time. And I really, I think I'm getting a little better to be honest. And I'm really trying to be optimistic here. That, you know, they're fewer and far between now. Those episodes where I just panic about something that I'm feeling sick. I'm feeling a twinge, I'm feeling a pain, I'm feeling something, and then I just go in full mode panic and and just think, you know, something's going to go wrong or I'm having a topic and or I'm having a topic again. Um, anyways, I had this weird thing today and feeling weak today, I'm feeling weird and I'm just thinking what if something is wrong with me, you know? So now I'm downstairs taking it easy and I'm gonna have a nap. And I better stop talking because my phone is filling up and I have no more room to record. Alright, thank you for watching. Sorry for being a downer again. <laughs> uh, I hope you'll join us again tomorrow. Have a good night. Thank you for watching. Awesome. Thank you, Leo.